The uh, the sub 5A picture is shaping up as a real uphill climb, but you know what? I'm not giving up hope, man. I look at these games and I feel like there's a chance that we can get routed, but you know what? Hey, let's believe in our teams, believe in our kids, and let's not be negative. Was I just negative? No, no, I'm positive no you're being positive, negative. yeah. Right. In saying let's not be negative. All right, Gonzalez and Laferia. Now, Gonzalez, the Apaches, man, they had that, I told you last week, they had that rough start. They were 0 and 5. Uh, now they're uh, 4 and 6. 4 and 6. And they're playing pretty good football. Yeah. They've been good in the past, reasonably good. Uh, that Those teams they played were 39 and 10 overall. So, I mean, in other words, they're a pretty good football team. Laferia, it's hard to tell. Yeah. It's hard to tell because they had a great start. Right. Yeah, and their district wasn't that great. They're six and three. They finished six and three. Um, their district wasn't as, uh, as stout as we thought. We thought Gruyere was going to be a lot better than what they were. They squeaked into the playoffs. Yeah, they did. Uh, Zapata. Fetty had lost to Zapata on Halloween, and they had the off week. So the only thing that concerns me is that do they remember where the locker room is after yeah. two weeks? I mean, it's been a while for them. Mm -hmm. So they got to come out and do something big early and get excited and get the crowd into the game. They playing where at Flower Bluff? Yeah, that's a fun place to play. So is Cal. Island, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I feel like LaFerry has a pretty good chance of all the teams we're going to talk about. Uh, you know, Gonzalez is not that great, but you know, they've proven themselves in their district. Neither team comes from a best district when you're matching them yeah. up together. So let's see if they let's see how they do. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, there's there's probably a game that uh, I don't want to say Laverne is probably overlooking Gria, but that's a tough game for Gria. Yeah, well, they're one and nine. Okay, there's no getting around that. Uh, but they are in the playoffs, and so hope springs eternal in the hearts of all men. Lavernia is very good. In fact, they're probably better than they were last year. They, they end up beating P.I., lost a sentence. So mm -hmm. uh, this year they want to go all the way to the uh, Final Four, as it were. Uh, it's a, a pro they're prohibitive favorites. Grew you, man. Just go out there and have a good time. And you know what? Maybe some crazy stuff happens because they may overlook it. Yeah. They're just like, you know, well, we are, I guess, or I am at least. Yeah. yeah not at the beginning of the year. A but one and nine team in the playoffs is wild. Freer's <laughs> in it and one and nine, too. Well, that and, that, and again, once you have four teams to make it and you have five teams in the district, uh, that will happen. Win a game, you're in, yeah. But bottom line is, I was thinking about it, too. No, man. Uh, those kids will be able to play in a playoff game. They'll be able to have all the streamers and the neat things. Mm -hmm. and, and who knows, maybe they'll play all right. Because, you know, they started to get it together. They got to win a couple of weeks ago. So we just hope that they go out there and play as well as they can do. And the result will take care of itself. And you still had a fine season, you know, of, of, of effort. Yeah. Speaking of streamers, don't do the baby powder anymore. Try to go in a game, especially when it rains. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all it becomes, you look like a kid, somebody that just got smacked in the face with, with uh, flour. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But uh, moving on to the small schools in 4A, Rio Hondo, tough game to start out with. Well, Quero, if you remember correctly, both Quero and Sinton in the 2000s of the last 15 years have had stretches where they're unbeatable. Luckily, none of them are unbeatable, but they're all very good. You've got Quero, Sinton. Yoakum, they all average about 38 points a game. They beat each other during the season. I feel like all three of these teams have the edge against our teams, but that doesn't account for our moxie and the fact that it's the playoffs and anything can happen. Uh, Rio Hondo, I think, probably has the best chance. They play up at Cabinus. Mm -hmm. We used to call it Cannabis, but we don't do that anymore because <laughs> that's politically incorrect. Uh, both 8-2, and two, <laughs> Rio Hondo and Quero, you like that one? Yeah, they'll be sky high for the game, Jake. Yeah. Cannabis <laughs> field, yeah. Terrible thing. The winner gets Navarro, but we're not going to get there yet because Navarro is one of those things. That is it a grass awful. field? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. And he played uh, baseball. Uh, uh, grass. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, All right. Uh, All right. Uh, move on. All right. Rio Hondo is another one of those teams. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, it was about Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rio Hondo is one of those teams that, you know, three years in a row, they won 10, 11, 10, 31 and 5 for three seasons. I think it was 06, 07, 08. They haven't been there, and they want to get back there. So it starts with this game. you got eight wins. That's the most since that yeah. era. So now you can't go out and buy a district. You've got to win this game, and it's against a tough Quero team, the Gobblers. Yeah, and That's you know where, what? Well, Bill, Bill Littleton used to go. Bill Littleton, yeah. Monty Stumball was, all, was there right. too. So, Remember you know. Robert Strait? Yeah. Great running back and also a great country singer. No, I'm kidding. I'm yeah. George Strait. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, look, I mean, this is one of those games. I would have loved to have seen, you know, P.I. in this spot because Quero, you know, the, the – the, you know, the, uh, yeah. history there, yeah. You know, I would like to see that because, you know, nobody knows Quarrel like Mike Stumbaugh or yeah. Bill Littleton. But Real Hondo's going to play this game. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good game. They got a chance, man. They I, got a pretty good chance. You know, uh, they beat P.I. You know, they they show that they can – They show that they can – Should have beat Orange Grove. Should have beat them. 21-8 out, gained them by 60 yards. No, Real Hondo is the strongest team of the three, I believe. 
and they have a chance to beat Cuero. You just got to play well. You just can't turn the ball over. That's mm -hmm. how they beat themselves sometimes is turning over. I feel like the team has the talent to win. Cuero is not great. I mean, they're good, but you know what? I think it's even Steven. I would say at the most, Rio Hans a three or four point underdog. Yeah. yeah. What do you think of that? Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be close. Okay. Uh, Sinton and Port Isabel play up in Kingsville. Man, I'll tell you what, I'm surprised because P.I. is not playing that great of football right now. They'll be the first ones to admit that, too, and that's not a knock. I'm not trying to be negative. Mm -hmm. And they know it, man. Again, they're not executing, and they're not uh, showing the athleticism that I know they have, man. That you know, If they play like they're capable, they can beat Sin. but I'm afraid right now the Pirates are pretty tough. Yeah, and you know what? If P.I. can get some of those long runs that they had at the beginning of the year. Right. The, you know, that's the, those ones that just seem like they'd be a three-yard three yard yard done. Yeah, yeah, boom. Yeah. 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 Right. Something like that. You know, something that like uh Aggie that I would do last year. You know, yeah. you know, you know, stuff like that. You know, um gotta have big plays, man. Yeah. They they get in three and four or five yards and you know, they're not scoring enough points. Now, that game the other day against Ramville was a rain game. You just you can wipe that off. Uh, I feel like Port Isabel probably right now is having not a confidence problem, but they don't like to be no six and three or seven and three. You gotta be kidding, man. So they've got to come out and they gotta resurrect all the things they can do well, and there are many. Uh Sinton Sinton is tough. They were good last year. They went 12-3. and three. They ended up losing to Fairfield in the semifinal. Mm -hmm. That was a good team. Uh, here's the problem with Sinton right now is that that quarterback is some kind of player. Man. Mm -hmm. What's his name? I had it written down. Oh, Tyler Henson. Yeah. He's like 27 years old. 6'2", 200. He's got all the moves. Man, he, he starts to remind me a little bit of that kid uh, – Michael Thompson or Mikhail Thompson that beat Harlingen single-handedly mm -hmm. in 10. Remember 31-30 from Stevens? He's a really, really good player. The Valley teams may not see a player that good on this level. Uh, at the quarterback. That are not better than him. Yeah. That are better than him. No, he's, he's really good. So take him away if you can, but uh, it's going to be a tough night for P.I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. They played before, though, and then three times in the playoffs, Port Isabel's beaten them twice. Really? The only time they didn't win it was back in 1990 when the three Amigos were running wild. And damn, Sinton didn't beat him 21-7. to Wow. Yeah, I remember that game. That was kind of a downer. We thought P.I. was going to go further than that. Uh, this year, I think that, you know, when you're Port Isabel and you expect to be very good, when you're not, it's kind of a shock to the system. Let's see them have a big game and let's see them kick Sinton's butt. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. All right. Who All else? right. Raymondville is playing Yoakum. Now, that game, Raymondville, the 6-4. and four. Yeah. Dwight Yoakum. Yeah. Had to do that once. Um, not very well. Yeah. Probably one of the better looking country singers ever. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's still kind of a yeah. weed like to kick his ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> seven and three though, Yoakum. Okay, um, Raymond was going to have a tough time at this with this game, but it, it, look, it's not conceivable that they don't beat this team. I mean, they played some tough teams this year. Let me tell you about Yoakum, not Dwight. They beat Hallettsville and Gonzalez. Okay, Hallettsville, we're going to talk about in a minute against Lyford, uh, Gonzalez against Lafayette. That was a weaker district. Yoakum's pretty good. Uh, they lost to East Bernard, who has been good since 1902. Uh, Lagrange, who's amazing, yes. and Cuero. So Cuero beat Yoakum. But Yoakum beat Sinton, mm -hmm. right? So, I mean, those three teams are, are, like I said, 38 points a game, all good records. We're going to have to play our best to beat them. Raymondville is hard to get a measure of, yeah. you know? Uh, you know, like I said, last week, you know, they just kind of rolled around the mud from what I hear. Six to nothing. They beat Port Isabel. Big for them, though, because mm -hmm. that means you avoid the, the number one seed. Uh, guys, I think they have a decent chance. I would say in order of proportion of who has the best chance, Rio Hondo, Raymondville, and I hate to say it because yeah. it sounds weird, but P.I. is probably up against the toughest group. Yeah. I mean, they finished fourth. What do they expect? That's what happens when you don't win the games you're supposed to win. Yeah. Right? No. So, we got these these four A's are up against some tough teams. Let's make some history, though. Let's 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 make these predictions go wrong. Let's have these teams come out and get fired up. It's going to be wet. I think it's going to be nasty. That can be the, to the advantage of the underdog because, bloop, the ball slips up. Homeboy runs it for a touchdown. You throw a bomb. It's 13 to nothing, and the other team said hey wait a minute you know yeah. what i mean and then it starts raining and you just hold the ball yeah <laughs> it can happen and i want it to happen now but let's talk three a's and that's going to be even harder yeah lifer has got a tough road ahead of them hallettsville you ever been to hallettsville no if you go to college station like i did this summer and you, you take that turn you go through beeville mm -hmm. hallettsville is a pretty little town you know i mean it's some nice little homes uh Looks like relatively decent citizens. I mean, it's a clean place, very quiet, pastoral thing. Anyway, Hallettsville. Yeah. I don't know much else about it but that. I do know that, uh, you know, they beat in Port Isabella once in the playoffs, and I kind of hated them since then. So let's see if Lifer can get some revenge. Lifer to 4-6. and six. Hallettsville's a pretty good ball club. Uh, they're going. It's going to be, they're about 10 or 12 point underdogs, I think, from what I can gather by the stats and the max preps and all the teams. Yeah. So. yeah. And, and you know what? The one thing that Lifer does have is they've got Jaden Taylor. And that, and that passer is not a bad. 
that yeah, guy. He, he's had some big games, you know mm-hmm. I mean? He's shown some accuracy, and then at times not. Hey, listen, you're in the playoffs. Hallisville is not, you know, 10-0 and or something, so go play football and let's see who wins. I'd love to see Lifer get a win. So would I. Uh, you know, they had quite a string in the 2000s, right? Uh, but then they kind of hit a little rough patch mm-hmm. last year or two, but they're back in the dance. And again, they beat Santa Rosa, which gives Santa Rosa the fourth place seed, and they got to play Goliath. The only thing... 9-1. Yeah, 9-1. Really. And, and who beat them? Shiner. Small school power. 34-29. to 29. So, you know... Uh, it's a good football team. They beat them last year in the playoffs. This is a rematch. I don't know. Look, Santa Rosa has been gutty. They ain't but five and five. But I mean, here they ha- here's their shot. I, I just hope it's not going to be one of those games where we're like oh, six did nothing or something. You know, yeah. let- every team got to come out. And this is if you're seniors, man. This is your last football game ever. So lay it on the line and refuse to get whooped, man. Mm-hmm. Don't ever give in. Yeah. That's nothing better said than that. That's, no, that's great. I feel like, yeah, we're gonna, really going to go out and rally here. Yeah. Uh, now, <laughs> La Villa ended up winning their last game, but London didn't beat Ben Bolt, so they didn't make it. A disappointing year for the Cardinals and a disappointing year for St. Joe. But you know what? All the teams that didn't make it, and that includes here, the Hollywood Aggies, all these guys, uh, if we didn't talk about you a ton this year, it's not because we don't love you. You guys come back and make the playoffs and get into the polls next year, and you'll be the stars. I guarantee you, man. We we take on all comers, and if you got some skills, we'll we'll try to find you. Yeah. All right. Most now what definitely. else? Well, is we're that gonna it? Go, yeah. That's it. We're gonna go to overtime in a few minutes, but uh, uh, but yeah, it's it look great regular season. Now we get to start this uh, second season, I guess uh, you would call it. It. I, my money's on the five A's. I like them. I, I like them better than the other. Yeah, sub the sub, sub five A's or the uh, or the or the sixes. Gonna surprise us because nobody picks them right all the time. We just we call it like we see it. What if we go seven and zero? We'll both come on here in clown suit. No, I'll be yeah. in a gorilla suit. He'll be in a clown suit. We'll do a little pantomime. I mean, that actually might be. We might even do that anyway. Yeah, we're being silly today because this is the show. And we can do what we want because it's not on TV anymore. Yeah, <laughs> why can't we be on TV anymore? All right, let's go to overtime. Well, we're idiots.